Hey y'all, it's Mandy from Daydream Face Painting. Today I wanted to cover the differences between transporting your Craft & Go paint station versus a DJ Hero case, um, which is what I've used for about two years. So I'm really familiar with it. Um, the struggles I've had with it, I wanted to share with you guys. So I hope you find this video helpful. If you have any questions for me, please feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them the best I can. So this is the way that I normally transport the legs on my DJ Hero case. They're very awkward since they're detachable. Um, you can carry them inside your case if you have enough room, but I never did. So this is the way I would always transport them, usually either in my bucket or in this um, bag that I carry with me on my gigs. So what would happen a lot is I would be carrying my case like this in one hand and then my legs in the other and if you lean over for something um, or if you drop something or going up the stairs a lot of times these would fall out of the case and so that was always a problem for me and something I didn't like about the detachable legs on the DJ Hero case. So another thing that I never really liked about this DJ Hero case is this metal handle right here. It's kind of skinny and it's not very comfortable to hold in your hand, especially when it's full of stuff. It's empty right now, so it's a lot lighter. But I have a lot of problems with my neck and my shoulder and then carrying this and this arm and all my gear and the other arm and trying to juggle everything. It would give me neck aches and headaches. So I'm really happy to be able to switch to my new Craft & Go paint station, which rolls and it has wheels. So I'll show you guys that in just a minute. So I'm really, really short. I'm only five feet tall, so I can roll this totally fine across the floor um, just by holding the handle. So it comes with this extend a handle and it's really, really easy to install. I'll show you that in just a second. But you just attach it with Velcro to your handle like this on both sides and then it just acts as an extender and then you can pull it and it makes it easier for those of you who are taller so um, that you don't have to crouch over when you're pulling it. You can see that when I use the Extenda handle, it makes it kind of too low, uncomfortably low for me, but it might be just right for you. So, so far I've just tried rolling it around in my house and then on the sidewalk, it's fine too. The wheels are very sturdy and durable. They seem like they would be the same type of wheels that you would find on a really high-end, nice piece of carry-on luggage. That's what they remind me of. So hopefully you can get a closer look at what the wheels look like right here. They're recessed into the case slightly. I really like them and I think they're going to last a long time. So one thing to keep in mind when you're setting up your kit that I noticed, you want to keep the bulk of your weight on this side of your kit, the side with the wheels. That way when you stand it up straight, it won't have a tendency to be top heavy and fall over. The weight will be in the bottom and it makes it much easier to stand up straight without falling over. So loading up this case is really simple. You can see it's no big deal for me just to put it up in the back of my car and then pick it up either with the side handle or the top handle and then you just lean it a little bit and roll it to wherever your destination is. It's really simple. Okay, so one of the questions you guys had was, would this case be small enough to take with you on public transport? I actually live in a very rural area where there's not a lot of public transport. I put this in the back of my car, but I would feel comfortable taking this with me on a bus or um, a cab, something like that, I think it would be fine. The size is actually train approved. It's not carry-on approved. It's too large for that to go um, as a carry-on on an airplane, but it is train approved. So in my opinion, it is small enough to take on public transport. So if you guys have any questions or concerns, please comment below and let me know. And make sure you stay tuned for part three of this series where I do the leg stability and kid test.